Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games and make games and everything in between. And today I'm going to show you when you want to use a hull over a mesh to help give a 3D object natural physics. Now before I begin, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate that. Leave a comment and let me know if you find this helpful or not. When to use a hull over a mesh. And I think the best example for this is an upside down pyramid. So let me grab a pyramid. Here we go, throw it into the world. Let's flip this baby upside down, 180 degrees. And I'm actually gonna tilt it like this just so we can see it a little bit better. We can see that the Y is set to negative 9.8, which is consistent gravity causing objects to come down however in this example when we hit play we can see that the pyramid is just standing straight up no problem and that is not real gravity why is it doing that let's check the object shape of it okay so one there's no physics so let's add physics the collision shape is a cube and we're going to be using hull but let me show you what happens when we use mesh first so we select mesh and we select pyramid what it does is a mesh covers the pyramid completely giving all sides of the pyramid collision properties basically the ability for another object to hit that pyramid the mesh has nothing to do with the gravity as we can see that while the pyramid now has a mesh around it. We can move the pyramid, but it doesn't cause the pyramid to fall over. It just gives the upside down pyramid collision shape properties. However, that's not what we want. What we want is the pyramid to fall over because upside down pyramids shouldn't be a thing when gravity exists. That's where a hull comes into play. And we can add a hull. Here you'll see that the pyramid now falls over once it's touched, following the laws of physics that exist in this game. Whenever you find yourself working with a 3D object and the physics properties are not interacting with the environment as you would like, be sure to check out the collision shape and see if hull works over a mesh. If the physics in your game is acting weird, players will notice. I hope this video was helpful. Do me a solid. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know if you know the specific differences between a hull and a mesh. I've Googled it and researched it, but I'm still trying to understand the difference. Hope you liked this video and I will see you next time. Peace.